Hmm. What do cats think of humans? In this video, made in collaboration with the amazing and experienced cat behaviorist Elizabeth Italia, we will discuss what we think we know and connect it with our observations gathered over many years of studying their behavior. Cats like to view us as cats. Even though we're much bigger than their furry family members, they still need, groom, play with, and rub against us, just like they do with other cats. Ever have a cat try to wrestle your hand and it actually hurts? They are trying to hurt you, but they're playing with you just like they would with another cat. At the same time, I've had cats try to paw at me to play without drawing their claws or nip without actually biting. It reminds me of how kittens play with each other in the very beginning, extremely gently. This makes me think in some circumstances they don't feel the need to apply much pressure with their claws or mouth and know that we are a bit different. Cats think we're mother-like. Cats usually build the strongest and most secure bond with the person who feeds, plays with, pets, and nurtures them, like a cat's mother would. There is a bit of debate on this, but it appears they don't think we're actually their mother. My bet is they can tell from pheromones, but that they treat us similarly because of how we take care of them. Humans can have a maternal relationship with someone who isn't their blood-related mother, and I think that's the best way to think of it. One study in 2019 found that cats are just as attached to humans as babies are. Here again, the role of the caregiver helps develop this relationship. It also goes to show that cats are social and do care about their owners. Cats recognize some human social cues. Cats will look when we point at something, and like domestic dogs and horses, domestic cats are able to recognize human emotions. Domestic animals that live alongside humans develop this adaptation because it helps them survive and live in their social groups. Since cats were recently domesticated, especially compared to dogs, we can expect them to continue to improve at this. Cats know their owners, but maybe not how strangers treat us. In addition to being more relaxed around their owners, cats are also more likely to respond when their owners call their names, though sometimes they choose to ignore us. Even when strangers call their names, they recognize it, showing they do in fact know their names. There's a difference between the two though, they respond more strongly when their owner is calling them over a stranger. This is also seen in other studies. When an owner is involved, the cat responds better, showing there is a clear bond between us and them. One area that seems lacking is that cats don't fully seem to understand our relationships with other humans. Whereas dogs will not take food from a person who didn't help their owner with a task, a cat doesn't care and will take food from them. This is likely related to evolution and the fact that cats are solitary hunters, meaning they're less socially aware to start than dogs who are pack animals and need to be aware of social cues, even to survive among their own kind. Cats act very independently of others around them, so they probably don't notice how we're treating each other, especially if an intense human emotion, like anger, which they recognize, isn't involved. Even though it makes sense why a cat wouldn't recognize how a stranger was treating us, I do think they pick up on small things about a person's energy. I've watched cats keep their distance from people who weren't fond of cats, or from people who tend to be more on the negative side. I've also seen completely friendly cats keep their distance from certain people for seemingly no reason. I think they pick up on certain aspects of how a person is carrying themselves, and if they don't like it, they don't want to interact with that person. Cats trained us, cats don't meow at each other, so why do they meow at us? They figured out if they meow at a frequency that's similar to a baby crying, we respond. This is pretty remarkable and smart on their part. Also, we're mostly vocal communicators, Cats communicate with scent and body language. And it's impressive that cats realize they can communicate vocally with us, but still use nonverbal cues with other cats. In closing, now you know, your cat thinks of you kind of like a mother and is sensitive to your emotions and some of your social cues. While they know their name, they may not always come when called, sort of like a child ignoring their parents. They're also just as attached to you as a human baby would be. And when they want your attention, they know to meow to get it. We still have a lot to learn about the human-cat relationship, but we have done enough research to say, they are not oblivious and aloof, and they do care about you, just like you undoubtedly care about them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video was helpful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. It will help us tremendously. I'll see you in the next video.